Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tim Friend, and I've already forgot what I was talking about. Uh, it's sort of just what happens uh, on Tim Friend. I think I've mentioned it before, where I just have no idea what I was talking about uh, during the session. So I'll see people like... Or it's it's actually a huge problem when I'm editing the episodes. I'm like, ah, I should put a title and a description that fits the video. And I don't always watch the videos all the way through because that would take a long time. And considering I have to record these and edit these and do other shit with my life, uh, it's like, oh god, do I have to watch this? It's it's ten. It's like it's like an hour and ten minutes just to come up with a, seven sentences of descriptions for seven episodes. And I'm like, ah, I've got better things to do. And then I'm like, what the fuck was I talking about in this episode? Oh no! So it's... I and now it's gotten to the point where I don't even remember what happened last episode. <laughs> like it's that... it's that much. <laughs> that much terrible. Um, which is a phrase, I'm sure. Uh, who are they even... I think they were going after Raven. So what I'm gonna do is have Priscilla just go up and burn this pirate to death. Cause weapon experience, yada yada yada. And actual experience. I think Raven's fine on actual experience. So we'll have Kent move up. Ooh, nice little level. I guess we're at the point where promoted units, uh, like the enemy units are high enough level that even promoted units get like 30 from killing them. Like what level are they? 11? Jesus, really? They're only 11 and I'm getting fucking full XP for killing them? I guess not like full, full XP, but you know, that a number that's not like two. And Fire Emblem Awakening, I'd be getting, like, no experience from these skills. And maybe that's a product because of uh, Fire Emblem Awakening having grinding available in it. In this game, having uh, danger grinding, which is the arenas. Uh, oh god, so was that what I was talking about, Carla? The arenas is what prompted that memory. Oh well. Like, as, I mean, this is like episode 80, whatever, almost 90? Is this episode 90? Holy shit. But, uh... I think this is episode 90. Wow, so close to 100. Maybe we'll hit it today. Uh, but yeah, it's... It, God, what the fuck was I talking... Like, okay, yeah. I forgot that I was talking about how I forget what I'm talking about. Incredible. So yeah, like, even just now, I've forgotten what I was talking about in the last episode. I think I was rambling about Carla a lot. Uh, oh, and we'll, we'll figure out if we need to capture everything with Hector. And I probably should have looked up when fucking Farina comes into this map. Because goddamn, she is taking her sweet ass time. And all these cavaliers are just throwing themselves at Sane instead of Raven? Why did they change? What a mysterious thing. Like, why did they change from attacking Raven to attacking Sane? What? Oh, god. These the mysteries of the AI. It looks like even though I thought I'd be getting this castle up here first, just because I could send a flyer up here, uh, I will be getting this one last, I guess. Alright. Well, uh, maybe those ballistas will someday run out of bullets. What turn is it? That would probably give me a good indication of how many bullets they have left. Is this, will this be a turn 5? 4? I think 4? 5? Uh, pew pew pew, yeah, whatever. No one cares about your purge. Yeah, these bosses are all kind of garbage. Is that guy? There's Farina. Jesus. Yeah. Come here. Get over here. Uh, you don't even get a turn. I have to wait another one for you to just get here. Jesus. Come on, guy. Or girl. All right. What's our status? This is turn five. So they don't have any ballista shots left. Hopefully. Uh, just to be safe. Oh. Um, Stay out of range of them one more turn with Florina and equip her javelin so that she can kill all these uh, monks in the retaliation strike. And she'll get quite a bit of experience out of this too if she's getting like 20 per kill. Ooh, strength. Good job, Florina. With that, you've doubled Lin's strength. And that's saying something for being Florina. Uh. Oh gosh, excuse me. Oh god, I can't... I can't capture it with him? Uh, status. Earn three points. How do I get point? No, do I have to run over here with Hector? Oh, Jesus. That's so bad. Like, that's some fucking... That's some amateur hour shit from the Fire Emblem game designers. If that's the case, I'll look it up between episodes after this episode. But, that's garbage. I shouldn't have to do that. Like, there's three fucking castles here. That's so... That's bad and dumb. Alright, so we'll have... Priscilla, heal Kent. 
because apparently he oh he took a hit from Pascal when I was still fighting Pascal, and then I'll have Raven move up next to her. We'll just start crunking these down right out the gate instead of waiting for them on my turn because I think this is slightly faster. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe not. It's actually probably slower because you have to watch me sort of figure out the puzzle of how to get supports. Uh, well, I would say you'd be watching it happen in my head, but that's not true. I'm just kind of shouting it into the ether. Uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, Fire Emblem's Tim Friend is interesting because you really get to see how much I can ramble like for a long period of time. And uh, the effects of my rambling and like what I'm liable to... Uh, say while rambling <laughs> and it's uh i'm sure it's a lot of not very interesting stuff most of the time but i try to be a little I'm, you know this is a very casual let's play this tim friend show that i do and so it's you know it's gonna be casual it's not always gonna be interesting it's not always gonna be hilarious but it's always gonna be there for you you know and it's not it's that's just what i want it to be i want it to be there for you i want you to in times of need you'll find me and I'll talk to you calmly, and I'll get a little frustrated, and I'll take your mind off of the things that you don't want to think about. Because in a way, that's what video games are supposed to do, right? And uh, maybe sometimes you don't, you're feeling bored, you're not playing a video game, and uh, like you're, you're bored with all the video games you have, and maybe you don't have the money to go out and buy a new one, or don't have the time or the willpower, or the, you know, whatever. When you're not playing a game, you can listen to Tim Friend and uh, have a good time, you know? It's, at least have have a nice time. And it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and that's sort of what I'm about. It's just sort of not, you know, not worrying too much about it. Just sort of have a nice time. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jesus. I guess my voice is giving out in the episode fucking whatever of this recording session. And uh, that's not... Does not bode well for wanting to record like 14 episodes today, but uh, I'm not gonna record all Fire Emblem today. Uh, but I have yet to decide on what the other thing I'm going to record is. So get hype for that shit, I suppose. Uh, I've been playing a bunch of games actually, because uh, my computer is working now. Uh, that's part another part of the reason why I hadn't recorded in quite a while is that my computer was like was just crashing. And I may have mentioned this before, but my computer would just crash and crash and crash. And within the last week, it got much, much worse. Uh, but yesterday? No, the day before yesterday, I was finally able to install some new RAM in it. And that helped out a lot. Uh, it hasn't crashed in, uh, since I've installed it. And I think it was just like, uh, not only was uh, the applications that I was using, the World of Warcraft, Chrome, any other game, was using up most of the RAM, like most of the <clears throat> physical memory on my computer. But uh, I think it was also like corrupt in some way, and that's pretty bad. Because uh, then it would, it would just crash arbitrarily and give a, a variety of different error codes. Good job, Florina. Look at these offensive levels. I love them. And he'll do his dancing thing once again. Um, but yeah, now I've got this new RAM, and it seems to be purring along smooth as a kitten. And uh, not only was I able to get, uh, ooh, Farina. Say, excuse me. Yes, you, the grim-faced one. Me? You're really pushing yourself, taking on all these enemies. It's not for pleasure. Hey, who are you, anyway? You're not with those guys, are you? Me? No, I'm not. I came out here because I heard I could make some gold. What a joke. Only a fool would work for this piddling amount. Skills like mine do not come cheap. That's, uh, strange. You seem pretty sure of yourself. I am Farina, a mercenary attached to the Strong Wings, Ilya's third division of Pegasus Knights. No doubt you've heard of me. I've heard Ilian mercenaries never betray their employers. So, how much would it cost to hire you for ourselves? Ah, so you have an appreciation for true warriors after all. Let me see. I'm yours for 20,000 gold. 20,000 gold? That's laughable. No sellsword is worth that much. I beg to differ. The journey is a long one, is it not? More than one battle, surely. It requires a special contract, special arrangements. Not to be morbid, but there are sympathy payments to my family in the unlikely event of my death, for example. Not to mention bonuses and hazard pay, medical treatment. Hold on, that's enough. Your fee includes all that, right? Ah, so you understand? I'm so pleased. Well, what'll it be? Will you hire me? What should I do? Hey, champ! You decide. Should we hire her? Yes. I thought it was 10,000, but it's fucking 20,000 gold. Jesus Christ. Didn't even try to negotiate. Just paid the gold up front. 
Who, who are you? I'm Marcus Ostia's brother, Hector. Are you going to take the money or not? Ah, my gold. Of course I'll take it. Ostia's the biggest territory in all Lycia, isn't it? Pleasure doing business with you, noble sir. Hmm. I'm counting on you. Oh, and there are weapons and vulneraries, too. All my current possessions are included in my fee. Anything new, you pay for. I'll never... I never cover those expenses. Never! Got it all figured out, don't you? Ha ha ha. It's funny that she's so mercenary. But, you know, whatever. War's dangerous. I'd want to get a fuck ton of money if I was selling my... I mean, to be fair, I'm not a good fighter <laughs> by any measurement. But uh, if I was fucking getting paid, I would want to get paid, you know? Like, in both senses of that word. Uh, I'd, I wouldn't want to, like, fucking... Uh, I, I'm trying to... If I'm risking my life... I hope I'm getting a fuck ton of money for it when it's done. Like, I don't have the fucking, uh, I guess, the bravery, the sheer bravery to just go and die for my country. Uh, mostly because I don't really think that we're, I'd be like dying for my country, I'd just sort of be dying because someone else told me to. And yeah, like, that's sort of it. If, if I'm a mercenary, I'm dying because someone else told me to, basically. And so if that, if I run the risk of that, I'd want to get fucking rich off of that shit, because goddamn, who's willing to die because someone told them to? You, like, ideally you're dying for a cause you believe in, you know? Or something that means a lot to you. But if you're just fucking dying, like, <laughs> because someone was like, no, go here. Uh, yeah, it's a suicide mission. What, what, what is that a problem? Uh... God, have those archers fired a ballista this turn? Are they out yet? Uh, I'm nervous. Don't want Florina to die to some stupid bullshit. So I'll keep it cautious until Sane can come up and start punching these guys. Um, and Priscilla, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I, I, go go Farina. You know, she is good at what she does. She's a good Pegasus Knight. We saw her stats. She was surprisingly tanky. Uh, for a Pegasus Knight, at least. And... Uh, so go her, get paid. If you're gonna do what you love, I guess if she loves killing, uh, do so and get paid for it because that sort of lets you continue doing what you love. That's sort of the, uh, that's why you don't do like art for just exposure, right? Because uh, even like you, it's time that you're putting into, it's time and it's work and you're working for someone, you should get paid for that. Like no one, no one else fucking does shit for exposure. Like, no one's like, fucking, oh yeah, uh, I want to be a good cook, so I'm working at McDonald's now making flipping burgers or whatever, uh, but I'm only doing it for the exposure, because people will undoubtedly taste my burgers and be like, oh, these are incredible. No, like, that's, that doesn't happen. Like, I, that's dumb. If you're going to be an artist, get paid. Like, even if that means you lose out on some jobs, uh, it's not a job if you're not getting paid for it. Like, we live in a fucking capitalist society. As much as I don't like how much capitalism there is, I suppose, uh, that's the reality of the United States of America. And so, if you're gonna work and not get paid, that's not a job, that's charity. And don't, don't do charity for people if you don't have stuff to give, you know? Okay, how the fuck do I capture this shit? I'm gonna figure that out and get back to you next time on Tim Friend. Tim Friend!